Nerds Talking, the podcast. Yo, we talk about lightsabers, stunning your TV screens, what you want to stream, everything beyond your dreams. Want to talk about movies, sports, or even politics. Go ahead and tune in to us. We'll give you all of it. Whatever you debate, next box of PlayStation, Marvel the DC, Mac or PC. Terra flops when the movie drops, gigabytes, chips, RAM. No matter what it is, we got all of it. Welcome to the show. Nerds Talking, the podcast. Welcome to Nerds Talking, the podcast. I'm here with Carlos, Hugh, Johnny, and I'm Lafayette. Another Friday, another show. Welcome aboard to Nerds Talking. And um, how's everybody doing? How was your week? Did you do anything exciting? I mean, don't all jump at once. For me, as you guys know, I sold my house and I moved back to the hood until my new house gets built. And uh, the hood is different. The hood is a little bit different. good, different or bad. Yeah, different. like because well, we live, we we know that hood. So like, give us an insight. We grew up like, in that hood. What yeah. would you yeah. grade? What would you give the hood one through ten growing up? What what would be your score? I give it a seven. In the level of hood. Oh, like, oh hood hood? like like oh, like goodness, maybe like a three. Two. Yeah, exactly. It wasn't two, that hood? Three, it's like almost yeah. like no, our it wasn't that hood. Um, our neighborhood had, had an in and out. Like you couldn't go connected to other neighborhoods. Mm-hmm. So our neighborhood was surrounded by trash. Like other hoods that were worse. Yeah, you can throw a rock and hit, you know, yeah, yeah. trash and hit a yeah. seven. Hit a but, seven, yeah, hit a seven. <laughs> but ours was like a three. Ours was never yeah. two hood. Like the one gangster was not really a gangster. He just listened to too much rap. <laughs> like that was our hood. <laughs> you know. So Wait, what is you? it now? What's the score? What's the score it now? Ball. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, it's up there. You learn to contain your road rage in the hood. You know, even though you know I, I got a gun in the car, it's like yeah contain that yeah it's good i probably am outgunned like 90 percent of the time <laughs> um no but when i was driving through the hood i saw this car with a bunch of uh stickers and shit on the back window like hashtag save the kids i'm like what the fuck and then there was this um a sticker that said shoot your local pedophile and I was like, what? I mean, I get, yeah, I guess. But then they started like saying shit like a uh, uh, person touches little kid um, should be shot. Do you agree? I'm like, had all this shit. Wait, all there was last your survey on the car? Basically. How do you it take was... the survey? Do you shoot like <laughs> a check mark? <laughs> Wait a second. Was this on the back window? Like one of those uh, in memory of? It, it was on the back window, like much like the fish stickers or like the oh, family geez. that, that yeah, the puts family. a bunch of little uh, you, you have know. a QAnon person in your neighborhood all right well <laughs> i've got a lot of things in the neighborhood <laughs> food's good that's good that's good <laughs> that's good have you been to the market have you checked out the market no i haven't been back oh, to the market. No market so when we were kids i uh i struck up a deal with raj the the owner clerk um i said i'll I'll buy that box of scorecards, I think it was. Just some baseball cards, and I'll pay you back later. And that was uh, 40 years ago. So you still last time you were there? I own five bucks, so. (laughs) That's why you're not going back? You probably own like 55 now with interest and shit. Well, I mean, and I don't feel like drinking 40s right now. Like, I don't know what what, what else they have at the market. And how much did you sell that Chris Abel card for that you got? No, it was the year of Tom Gordon. When Tom oh, Gordon, oh, that was a hot, Tom that was a Flash year, Gordon. That was, Gordon. That was that was yeah. A, yeah. I don't know that where particular uh, uh, Tom Gordon, a starting pitcher Kansas for the City. Kansas City Royals, uh, then became yeah. a relief pitcher, then a closer. Uh, yeah, that was career's no good guy. guy, good guy. But uh, well, yeah, there's Johnny. Johnny's back in the hood. I'm back, back in the hood. In the hood. <laughs> it's gonna yeah, make yeah. me appreciate uh, the new house, the new neighborhood a lot more. Yeah, yeah. yeah. How about you? Anything interesting from the week? Uh, <laughs> Carlos knows about something earlier today, but I'm not going to get into that so much. I mean, why uh, would you bring it up? Yeah, unnecessary. Like, yeah, yeah. Why, why tease well, like it, I'm teasing only because if my mood seems a little less joyous, uh-huh, uh-huh. it just has more to do with conversations that weren't exactly respectful toward me. Oh, yeah. It turns out millimeters aren't as big as inches. Ah, wow. Mm. Small penis. Yeah. Man. 
Got it, got yeah. it, got it, got it. It makes sense, you. It makes sense. I can't relate. I don't know what you guys are talking makes about. Makes sense. Uh, hey, yeah. <laughs> You'll be all right. You go right. to a Canadian doctor, tells him all that shit. Oh, you, you, oh, you yeah. go to the metric route? I do. <laughs> Very nice. Actually, I that's a good idea. Good idea. It's just interesting to me how you can get into a place, uh, someplace in life, and think that you can speak to others who you potentially deem to be not in the same place as you with a distress, you know, with disrespect. And let's just leave it at that because uh, yeah, things are still ongoing. Thankfully uh, to answer your question, Carlos. Uh, the other thing I'm ha quite happy about was watching the end of the Celtics game last night. That was most awesome. It's two nights ago, wasn't it? Yeah. That's, it's no, Friday. Well, two nights. Well, I'm still living off. No, Monday, ago. Monday. Four nights Three ago. Three nights ago. Four God nights ago. It. Four nights. Monday. Using everyone. Monday. Who's what? Um, Monday. Monday. I mean, uh, you guys don't know yet. He was a Boston Celtics. Well, he's a Boston fan in general. But Boston Celtics are in the NBA playoffs. Not do paying they have a, a lot WNBA of WNBA <laughs> team. They Boston? do not. No, not paying a lot they of attention not. to the Boston Red Sox, who are not not showing a lot of offense let's the, put it that way they don't have a WNBA team because boston only has so much racism to spread around you know, oh my god, god. <laughs> so they, oh yeah. my god it's really focused it's right? there focused. it is it's focused on the men i can't there watch it a is. Is. My no racism on this yeah <laughs> here it comes at least i'm not the yankee fans throwing cans and crap at at one of the cleveland guardian outfielders ah we'll accept it they didn't say anything racist no, um, I mean New York fans are bad too, but Boston fans are fucking dicks. Yeah. <laughs> oh well, yeah. I can't recall the last time a fan got knocked into a coma like after a 49er game a few years ago. Giants, right? Giants, Giants, Giants game. Yeah. Giants. Yeah. yeah. Into a coma and eh, near death. You know, one time incident. <laughs> Celtics fans and so no, forth. you always hear about like uh, the Boston's the greatest basketball franchise in the world, but then you hear interviews with the guys and like, yeah, we were champions, you know, this many years in a row, and we have like what thirteen or fourteen <laughs> under a title, eighteen, but eighteen. Uh, Man, well, the Lakers, racist. Lakers are tied now, and yes, uh, they are. Yes, they are. But but then like they talk about how shitty the fans were and like how racist they were back in the sixties and seventies. What? I mean, a lot of people were back then, but it's, a. Uh, I feel like it's a little bit tainted, right? I mean, yeah, they were champions, but the, the, the city didn't love them. You didn't, you don't have necessarily a bad argument in there were, there was Southie, for example, was notoriously racist, you know, and, and definitely years ago, I don't know about in the last 20 years, I haven't really lived there, you know, in Boston, but mm. no, you're not wrong about that. But I just know that me and everybody that I knew who was into Boston sports wouldn't have cared if a three headed Martian played as long as it helped us win. You know, that's not, none of that made any difference to any of us. None of it. You know, you could have a team of chicks if they brought me a championship. Yeah. <laughs> that's all, all we cared about. Winning. So no, I'm matters. not gonna lie. Uh, the championship is all that matters. You know, like if if anyone but the Lakers won during the NBA Finals in the bubble, I wouldn't have counted it. Put an asterisk on it. That's bullshit. <laughs> but the Lakers right. won, so of course, of course, I count it. Yeah, it doesn't count. Got my banner. Doesn't count. But who whose Doesn't future count. do you like better, Boston's or LA's? Oh, LA for oh, sure. No oh my God. way. I don't yeah. LeBron's, about it right now. LeBron's 36 going on 90. And yeah. And Anthony Davis can't hardly stay on the court. Nah, that's all semantics. It's simple, semantics. simple. I mean, yeah. um, LeBron is still a top 10 player in the NBA. Top five player. 36. Holy crap. Top, top 20 five, for yeah. sure. Top 20 for sure. And oh, Anthony Davis, five. he just needs some vitamin C, vitamin D. Just get the bones <laughs> strong. That's it. He needs he needs <laughs> a miracle. No. That's all he needs. He needs <laughs> yeah. That's horrible. Man. I mean, are. horrible. We can't stay on the court. Holy shit. Yeah. Well, there's your NBA talk. There you go. <laughs> NBA talk here on Nerds Talking. To... I mean, this is where you find all your NBA inside news. That's right. On Nerds Talk. It's really just Lakers Celtics news. But still, it's all you need, according to uh, Johnny and Hugh. So, How the Lakers doing in the playoffs this year, anyway? 
Oh, they got swept out of the season. So next make the topic. Uh, <laughs> on Facebook news, I saw yeah. that South Carolina is bringing back the firing squad for you know as an option oh, instead good of like segue. I like lethal it. injection. Wait, so it's just an option though. Like you can pick it as the guy. Well, somebody, gonna... oh, somebody so you can did. pick it if you're the dude who's gonna. Get... It's like a menu. Yeah, yeah. No, really? somebody you did. Just... Somebody mm-hmm. actually picked it, and they denied it. They denied him his choice, but he did pick it. Somebody I mean, did. I, th- I would, think they brought it back. Why would anybody? Uh, Facebook want that? wouldn't lie to me, man. Well, no, absolutely not. It's can the somebody metaverse. Google? Yeah, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> um, would you? Why would you want to choose that though? That's that. Like you're gonna die in agony. No, it's a one shot deal. Mm. Well, firing squad. What if they all get together? Okay, our first shot's in the legs. Shoot them in the legs. <laughs> okay, but <laughs> isn't the firing squad work where only one guy has a bullet? And the rest maybe of one or two blanks. it's multiple shooters and then a few of them have blanks and then so if you're the guy who's i'm gonna shoot him in the forehead and then oh shit his forehead came off then yeah it's your fault you'll, you'll hmm. probably be prosecuted but uh yeah according to the new york post south carolina brings back the firing squad executions you know i guess death penalty i mean death is death right so well part of that is because they can't get the drugs for the no, most states, many states are having problems getting the, the cocktail mix for the I mean, it's cheaper. lethal injection. Well, no, they just can't get it. They know, won't, but it's, you know, won't sell it to them. Companies won't sell it to them. If you're gonna... I saw a um, documentary, uh-huh. might have been on National Geographic, Indiana maybe, where the, the drug, the lethal injection drug was about to expire. So they fucking like executed like eight people in a month or something like that. <laughs> you got to use what you got. Yeah, yeah. Damn. It reminds me of like going in the fridge, like, oh shit, the smoke's about to expire. Like the sixth person. Chug it. After the sixth person, they walk up. Hey, hey, yeah, wrong guy. I'm sorry, he was only in here because <laughs> it was Jay walking. <laughs> what? Yeah. So okay. there's a lot of Steve Smiths here. Yeah. We got a lot of one. Come yeah. on. How are we supposed to know? <laughs> yeah. Um. Again, though, it's death penalty, so it's like, get it done. Get her done. I always thought like if a guy was guilty, no matter what, the evidence was so, or he even says he's guilty. Why are you going to put him in jail for 50 years? Like if he literally pleads, like I did it, I killed so-and-so and I screw it. I don't care. All right. Just take him out back, put him against the wall. Boom. Well, well right, there's years and years of little ga- litigations and appeals. Oh, I know. I know. I'm just saying though, in general, what are you appealing to if he says he's guilty? of murder and he gets life in jail with no parole what do you you know what i mean it's like yeah but it's i was talking to my buddy who works for corrections and uh he was saying that the death row inmates have the nicest life apparently because death row inmates they have to be they're paid by the state like let's say for example they're going to give you 500 dollars an hour for your lawyer well they tell the lawyer hey only charge me 300 and then put 200 on my books and then um, do it that way, or I'll find a lawyer that does, you know, uh, yeah, will no, accept it. Yeah. So then they got a, basically free money on their books. Um, they get all these the time out of their cells, and it's not as volatile as, like, say, general population. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, everyone behaves there. I could see that. Also, Ironically. Plus, plus, you know, jail's big money. Yeah. So, hey, if I can get everyone on life sentences, do it. Put them all in life. You know what I mean? Like whoever owns the jails, all the companies, just put everybody in life sentences. Right. Like who gives a shit? You know. So it's crazy, man. It's just. Yeah. But then again, you know, the death penalty depends how you view it. I mean, who's who's for it? Who's against it? Hugh, you're on the clock. Go. I'm not for it, and I'll tell you why. And it has primarily to do with the one in whatever chance odd that you execute somebody who turns out to be innocent. How do you get them back? Is the, sta- is the state not <laughs> is the state not guilty then of murder because you didn't because i mean who knows why you know what they, they the the testing could have been fouled up so if the testing's fouled up are those folks guilty of murder why oh, take yeah, the risk no, i mean you're right i mean why take the, the risk yeah yeah, yeah no you're not wrong so i mean it's always going to be you know that gray area of that so uh, carlos and there's and there's oh, no financial well no and there's no if you look at the money, there's no particularly great financial advantage to executing as opposed to life imprisonment. Sometimes no. it's more the appeal process, the, you know, the, the, the processes that they have to go through 
I mean, I've read, you know, a number of articles that seem to suggest the money is similar. There's not a huge, if there were a massive difference, well, then you'd have a better argument, I guess, but I don't think there is. Eh, okay. Carlos? Well, I mean, when, when, uh, oh, wait, Johnny I'm has sorry, a point. You, uh, a when, when uh, an inmate is incarcerated, you are solely responsible for them. So a uh, death row inmates gets a uh, cancer. You're giving them cancer treatment. Mm-hmm. Um, the money is just going to add up. Um, you know, I understand that there's appeals and whatnot. It's less than life. That's for sure. Yeah. I mean, but the, the, the whole argument really <clears throat> in terms of the death penalty has been the argument has been, I'm not saying that's, that's really what they believe, but the argument has been deterrent. If it's, if it's not a deterrent, if you're really doing it for revenge, well, then let's just be honest. You're doing it because you want to get back at this guy for what he did. But if you, if you're, ta- if you're looking at it as a deterrent, it isn't a deterrent. Nobody. Oh, what is it? Well, what is it? What is it actually deterring? At this well, I'm point? Sa- I'm saying to you that somebody who just you know, uh, you know, if someone is pre-planning a murder as opposed to a murder and of a murder of passion, uh, there I don't think they're thinking about well, shit. If I get caught and uh, then I might go to death row and get killed, it's not a deterrent to uh, that. No, I mean that's just it. Does crime does crime of any deter crime? No, not necessarily. No. So. That's not no one commits crime thinking, number one, they're going to get caught. And number two, thinking that, oh, man, I'm going to get the death penalty. Of course not. I mean, well, that's but that's reasoning that I've you know, that there used to be that kind of reasoning for the death penalty, that it's also a deterrent. It's not. Yeah, but also jail is a deterrent in general and it doesn't do any. You know what I mean? Just in general. No, I do. I I agree. I agree. It's. but anyway, so so we got a no on the board. Carlos, death penalty, Europe. I'm for it. I said death penalty in Europe. I'm <laughs> for it in, in Europe as well. Ah, you're good. Okay. I mean, I can see Hugh's point, but to me, the death penalty should be like Lafayette had mentioned. If there is without a shadow of a doubt that this is the guy, he was caught at the scene, all the evidence is there, whatever. There's no doubt that this guy did it 100%. Take him out back. Get rid of him right away. Why wait? Why are going to waste time and money? That's how I feel about it. I mean, I understand Hugh's point because it reminded me of that Kevin Spacey movie, uh, The Life of David Gale. I don't know if anyone's seen it. I've seen it. I don't watch <clears throat> canceled actors. Well, go ahead. Continue. But anyway, there was a crime committed. There was a murder. And then he was supposedly the person who did it and he got executed. And it turns out that he didn't kill this person. This person killed themselves. He just happened to be there and he got executed. Well, they, they had set up all the evidence <clears throat> to go to against make it look like him. Right. So basically um, because they, they were, they were against the death penalty. So they set up right. the death penalty. Right. So that was kind of dumb because basically you just sent this guy to die. And you stacked all the evidence against them to prove what? To prove that you can frame somebody for murder. You it's know, that happens of, quite often. Kind of goofy. Yeah. Uh, Like, for instance, that mass shooting in Sacramento, two brothers were involved. One of them was released early. He was supposed to have a 10 year sentence. He was released early. Mm -hmm. I say, take these guys in the back and just take them out. That's how I feel about it. Put a firing squad and put them in front of a firing squad. That's fine with me. I'm okay with it. You're wasting my, not my time, because I don't know these people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're wasting taxpayers' time and money. So we have a yes on the board, a no on the board. And we move on to Johnny. Johnny, you're up. Death penalty. I'm for it. Uh, ooh. All right. I'm for it. <laughs> okay. All right, what? Give me uh, Give me well, at least one good reasoning. Is it the same type of reasoning? Just you. You did the crime. You paid the time. Um, I think about uh, victims, victims' families, closure. I mean somebody murders my family and then i i know for a fact that they get to live the rest of their day is being taken care of oh you get cancer well they're going to take care of that too you need to have heart transplant they're going to take care of that too don't forget dental oh, Ooh, what up that's right. so good the what choppers on death row are really nice. See? veneers See? and i mean if um, i had so- bad teeth i'll be murdering people left and right <laughs> <laughs> I'm you surprised know, there's you, not more mass well, murderers in England. Right, go ahead. Ooh, because of the teeth. Yeah, teeth. Good one. Teeth. I get it. I get it. 
That's well, where Jack the Ripper was. Yeah, is that what it was? He had bad yeah, pizza. Just, yeah, just, just trying to get caught. <laughs> but <laughs> let, let me throw out a little uh, addendum then. Then for like for example, let's say someone commits murder there and they are caught. They're absolutely holding the gun. What do you think a worse punishment would be? Death penalty or putting somebody in solitary confinement for the rest of their life? Well, solitary yeah, confinement. It's not like suffer. um. Well, no, I mean Shawshank. true, true you know solitary confinement, not how it might be in a prison today. Solitary confinement where you have no interaction with any other human being for the rest of your life. What's the if that was an option? Yeah. Yeah. Why not? What's the well, point? that's you know, what I'm let, saying. Would that, well, wouldn't that well, be worse? Well, that would, would be, be worse. Point of even letting that individual live at that point. But I, that's my point. If, if you're punishing someone, which I get, Johnny, a hundred percent, I get that. If something happened to my family, I'd do it. And then I'd take the rap. I, I, you know, I'd do it. Mm-hmm. But my point is that if you really want to punish somebody, if you really want to make their lives awful, killing them isn't the worst option. The worst option might be for them, true solitary confinement where they have to live with themselves for the rest of their life. They'll probably take themselves out. Do I get to visit at least once a year in that what? room with but him? Oh, if you, oh, oh, as the family no, member or something? No. Uh, yeah. If somebody takes out my family and this guy's in solitary confinement, I want to be able to visit this guy once a year and just unload on him <laughs> once a year, every year till he's dead. But you see, you see my point that he's probably going to go out of his mind anyway. Probably. I yeah. Mean, I saw this uh, on the Count of Monte Cristo. Um, right. <laughs> right. 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 What they did on his right. year anniversary, they whooped his ass and then he escaped. And, oh. What um, was uh who was the uh the guy the the actor who uh was painting or you know writing in his own f- feces it, uh, he was in solitary and he was literally he went nuts and he was writing in his own shit <laughs> oh I see that all the time oh Kevin Spacey um <laughs> I just no I mean in in your situation of course that would be complete torture but I know the way prison is and I right. know the rights they get they're gonna watch the like right now I moved back to the hood I don't have cable inmates have cable they they're, they're able to watch right. everything they they're probably able to listen to our podcast so oh wait for really? those of you on death row sorry but are you, you got a good are you let to pass out flyers at work <laughs> <laughs> we, we don't need free merch that. Can you we don't need merch? listeners <laughs> no, that, do we <laughs> no no and i don't no want plan the fan, B, plan no B, fa- no fan mail <laughs> um, just just nerds talking the shanks that's, that's the shit yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we put those in the store I think uh, commissary. I mean, of course, there's worse. Well, okay. When you say there's worse things than death, I mean, yes, because once you turn off, you don't exist. You don't know. There's no. There's nothing worse. Of course, it's it. You turn. Of course, there's worse things than death. But if it's clear cut as day, I mean, like that guy that killed his wife and two kids, and then he buried him out so he can continue his. I think in Texas, you guys remember that story from years back. And then he put on his whole search party. Oh, my God, where's my wife and kids? And oh, yeah, I but the whole time he was having an affair and he just wanted to get oh, her yes. out of the way. Couldn't divorce her. Had to kill the whole family. He suffocated and then, his two kids and put them in oil wells. Yeah, yeah. You remember that. So and he was guilty. A hundred percent. hundred percent. That guy needs to get killed. What did he get? Life in jail. No, no, he shouldn't get life in jail. He should get one year in jail. And then when he's like and then general public. Just give him, you know, give him the worst, put him in the worst jail and then take him out. Then we'll take you out for ice cream. And as and then shoot him in the back. <laughs> fucking shoot him in the back. The like park. the dog, you're going to get let go at the ranch. <laughs> Come on, buddy, let's go for a Let's go. You know what? You're free. Why are you free? Fun. Or do that thing where, hey, if you can make it to that post and the post is like a half a mile away. Oh, you're free to go. go. <laughs> and then he just starts shooting. Just like. Just fuck it. Just running man. Just running you know, man for all. <laughs> just everybody. Just fucking running man. You know what you could do is you could put a Russian uniform on him and drop him in a, off a parachute into the middle of, of uh, a Ukraine pasture. <laughs> but doesn't that won't that won't guarantee his death though? You could always put inmates just on a barge in the middle of the ocean, and hey, if you can make it back to land, you're good. With no paddles. No, that's what I mean. There's yeah. nothing. It's just, they're all yeah. just on a barge, and it's swaying back and forth. And if they can make it back. They're good. And then see how many eat each other and that. 
This barge would have to be located off of South Africa or somewhere near Australia. Oh, Australia for sure. Right, because the sharks are yeah, crazy. Gray like white salt sharks. water yeah, crocodiles. Yeah, yeah. What <laughs> the South fuck? Africa. South Africa has a shark that bought Twitter. So oh, there's always yeah. that. Yeah. Are you guys using Twitter? You guys are Twitter yeah. people. I'm a Twitter. I mean, I got banned again. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh yeah. Who'd you? Who did, who did you say? What did you say? Oh, some guy made a like some type of statement about how Elon Musk has finally given us free speech and and no 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 more no more sheep. We're not sheep anymore. Blah blah blah. And um, I just responded to the fact of you know. Like, what does that even mean? Then he's like, you're a sheep. And I wrote back, eat a bullet for dinner. Then I got to spend it. <laughs> and then right away, too. So I mean, are you right, for the death penalty? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> right eat a bullet away, for dinner. Right away. I mean, are you a sheep? Eat a bullet for I, dinner. As soon as I hit tweet, <laughs> it literally popped up and said, violation, you cannot tell somebody to commit suicide. I was like, son of a bitch. You guys are good. I was just <laughs> testing you. Get Elon on a phone. It's yeah. bullshit. And I got it. I got a I only 12 hour ban. It's okay. I came back. Came back stronger. <laughs> Looking for more. He's so right. But uh, the thing is, people are literally celebrating on Twitter as if he just he just freed the slaves. They're selling yeah. the, 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 it's crazy. And it's like, first of all, he doesn't own Twitter. He put a bid in that they accepted. So he doesn't necessarily own Twitter at the moment. And but it's coming. I mean, oh, he for, who's going to turn down forty four billion dollars? <laughs> like he I over was forty three, wasn't it? Yeah. But he, I mean, forty four. That, that's yeah, I would think, sell it. For think about it. What he, you're telling me is that one extra billion would have broke the bank. Yeah. He yeah. was well, a billion between you and me. He paid for a free app and uh, an app that really doesn't make that much, doesn't generate that much money. That's the sad part. It doesn't generate that much money. And only eight to twelve percent of all phone users actually have Twitter on their phone. That's it. Um, they only have a registered two hundred and nine million people in in the world, and sixty million of them are in the United States. That's not a lot when you think about it. That is not a lot. I know you guys don't use it on a daily basis. I don't think you guys are even really on it, Johnny. No. Is it on your phone? I mean, it you is. Have, uh, you, you just don't use it. No, not really. I, at first, I started following people like, uh, say, comedians. Oh, maybe they're yeah, 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 my yeah. town type of thing. And then some people will be really heavy on Facebook, but not Twitter. And then some people are heavy on Twitter, but not Facebook. And I don't know. This doesn't affect me. You know, Elon could say, "Well, I, I bought Napster, and then they threw Ooh. it in MySpace." You're like, eh, <laughs> I'm good. You know, well, I'm wired of special. <laughs> You know, I just you're right, though, about one thing. It, how does it affect anyone in a sense? Right. Anyone. I mean, he's and he's on Twitter every day now going, I'm going to give everybody back their free speech. I'm like, first of all, it's always had your private company. You it's not it's free speech at all times. But there's consequences. Right. It's like, you know, if you work for the company we all work for, if you say outlandish shit, I hope no one listens to this show. Um, there's consequences, you know, within your company framework. And, pr- right. and Twitter is the same. Twitter has rules. When you sign up for anything, there's right. Anything you sign, you buy a new phone, you sign up for Facebook, you sign a receipt at Disneyland or a concert ticket in the back says, hey, we're not liable for a shit. And if you do shit, you're tough shit. And Twitter's no different. Twitter's the opposite. If you do shit, you're going to be in hot shit. So, yeah. um, Carlos. No, yeah. I don't. I'm not a twat. I don't twit. You mean tweet? You don't tweet, not or tweet. tweet? Is that what it is? Tweet, twat, tweet. I don't, twat. I don't, I don't toot. Yeah, I don't toot. I don't toot. I'm not, I'm not a tooter. Not, not in mixed tooter. company anyway. Uh, you're you're how about yourself? Do you, use, do you use Twitter at all? Uh, I have a profile, but I don't use it. And you know what? I think what's going to happen is a whole lot of people are going to leave, and he'll have Twitter Telegram. You know, just a another version of Telegram. I that's just I don't think people are going to leave people's take on oh my god he's gonna allow all these people back to twitter and you know what that means is the former president and then that just means the fifth can get banned even more yeah i mean no <laughs> not, how will i now if they can let me have free reign that's, <laughs> that's right how can they ban that's you true. how wow, can they ban wow, you unleash wow, the beast that's just it they don't understand <laughs> people that work at twitter so on and so forth and there's still going to be a board at twitter Elon's not going to be just walking in every day. All right, let's do this now. Like, there's always going to, because what people don't understand is it's not all his money that went into this deal. Mm-hmm. He got a bunch of investors with him. It's not all his money. 
So he's yeah. not the sole owner of Twitter. He's just he's the front man. Just like there's a front man now. So but what happens? Gonna... Um, I mean, it's public now, right? IPO. So what happens when it goes private? Because he wants to take it back to private. What happened to those shareholders? Obviously, their stocks aren't going to go up because it's no longer public. And that and that's just it. And the company's not very profitable. So, you know, it's not Facebook, man. Everybody and their mom has Facebook. I mean, everybody has Facebook. That thing is a juggernaut. My mom has four different profiles. Your mom she, is the we worst. know why. <laughs> we know why. <laughs> well, it's not a it's not a Batman type of profile like where yeah. she has a secret <laughs> account for booty calls or anything like that. She just fucking forgets her password and starts a new account. So creates true. a new account. Oh my she's God. a she's a you think she follows herself by mistake. Like, oh, that she's like a catfisher. <laughs> right? Yeah, your mom follows herself and she's so like. It's like, oh my god, this person likes everything I like. This person's just like me. <laughs> and it's her he tells about her best friend on Facebook. Yeah. Probably talking <laughs> about her her kids. Right. Yeah. Oh, I like her no, sons are fat. I'm like, what that, the fuck? Mom? No, it's, the, it's not even that. Your mom likes her her self friend's kids more than her actual kids. <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> she probably she probably has a fake profile they're like oh this one's a doctor and this one's a yeah. doctor's doctor, doctor. He, he's the he's this actually one teaches doctors. he's actually yeah he's actually the doctor of my other doctor's son <laughs> like what yeah he's his doctor <laughs> that's how good of a doctor he is yeah i don't think it, it matters i just i just think it's funny that people are praising it they're praising it basically as if the right wing of politics just won something um, Amazing. I mean, Laura Ingram of Fox started her show about 15 minutes and she was literally almost crying about the freedom that the right wing just got back. <laughs> I was like, it's Twitter, for God's <laughs> sakes. It's Twitter. Another, oh my uh, gosh. Like, do you guys not understand that? And Elon Musk, it, nothing will change. Nothing. Is she uh, the one who has a, uh, has a gay brother and they are? despise yeah. each other she's the yeah. He, yeah the brother talks crazy shit about her on social media yeah he, he despises her oh yeah, he says he she's like uh, she's like satan or whatever yeah. word he use yeah. was well satan's a pretty pretty high bar so what he so. said it was something really uh up that close to that bar yeah, i remember yeah. reading it what's what's close to the satan bar Hugh? please feel me <laughs> like, what, <laughs> what is it like <laughs> i mean well, that's that, a, that's well, that the highest me to, bar that brings me to the unholy. <laughs> uh, oh, you saw it. <laughs> I did. OK, we'll talk about it. We'll talk about uh, coming up. All right, let's take a break here. Our nurse talking to podcast. We'll be right back after this. We're here to tell you how the world is wrong. The world is wrong about Mad Dog Time, the paper, paper boy. boy, Mordecai, after last season. The World is Wrong is an extremely positive podcast where Andras Jones and Brian Connolly champion films The World is Wrong About. Available on Paperhouse Network wherever you get your podcasts. <laughs> Welcome back to Nerds Talking the Podcast. Remember to rate, download, subscribe. Wait, that's your rate and review. Oh, I did. Hope you guys are giving us good ratings. Remember to download, subscribe, rate, review, turn on notifications, tell your friends every Friday. Nerds talking the podcast. Hey, this Friday today is the finale of Ozarks. So if you oh, have Netflix yes. and you love Ozarks, which I don't know who doesn't, watch the finale of Ozarks. Which hey, is... Did everybody watch it? Upload season two. Oh yeah, upload was fantastic. I've seen it. Yeah, really. You thought season two was good? I didn't think season two. No, was good. just too short. No, it wasn't enough. It was too short. Yeah, it was too kind short. Boring. The, well, it turned into a political show. Like the whole like narrative of the plot and where the machines are and where they're trying to bring people back and 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 the, right. and the you know and the clones and all that it turned out, yeah so I mean I didn't mind it got that a narrative. little political yeah it just yeah. it was boring it was a little bit boring but you know it was also too short what was it five episodes or something six I think seven uh, six or seven seven yeah. instead of ten yeah yeah but yeah. the uh, cliffhanger oh. at the end of seven was like yeah. Don't care. You're talking. You're talking Ozark that's had four seasons, right? Ozarks on Netflix today is out. The finale, part two of the I, part uh, season. Right, I understand, but it's had four seasons, right? Uh yes, sure. yes, yes. It has. Okay, yes. okay. It took season four forever to come out because pandemic. Hippity hoo ha! 
hippity hoo ha. Yeah. So, uh, yep. So, all right. So, let's do a little movie review action here, people. And then, um, Johnny didn't see this movie, but he'll get to know it really well as we talk about the movie X by Studio A24, which puts out a lot of horror movies such as Hereditary, Midsummer, um, Saint. Oh, it was a good one they put out recently. Saint, Saint Maud. Maud. Saint Maud. Yeah, yeah, that was actually pretty good. I did see Saint that. Maud. Uh, have you seen that one too, Hugh? Same no, no, I oh, did not. Okay. No. So X um, is a slasher movie, really, in the end. It's got ourselves a slasher movie. It takes place in the 70s, uh, late 70s, I think. Uh, yeah. Late 70s. Yeah. Uh, the setup is that um, basically a guy that owns a titty bar wants to start producing porno movies because they're starting to take off in the cinema. And VHS and VHS explodes, of course, in pornography. And he sees that as the big money maker. So he gets his ragtag crew together. They go to a farm. They rent the barn and a little farmhouse from this old couple. And they are going to shoot a porno movie. Hmm. That's hmm. your setup. And it turns into a slasher. And the plot of the, I guess you could say villains, might be the stupidest plot I've ever ever <laughs> seen in these type of movies i mean well, just the worst i well, mean who, who could let's see who can guess who the villains are johnny <laughs> well i'm thinking it's gonna be the people they're renting the barn from yes you're right ding, 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 ding. Now, oh my goodness think about it it's a slasher a lady that's 90 and a husband that's like 95 years old yeah yeah, and it's completely, yeah. completely realistic. And the reason for them <laughs> killing the husband has a different motive than the the wife. The wife's motive is that these people are too pretty and she used to be pretty. Oh my god, I remember those days. I used to be just like you. I lost all my looks. And she starts killing them out of that. Like that's her reason. That's her like spite. And then she wants to like have sex with the young guys because her husband won't give it to her. Because she and, just wants to, she, she wants just, to feel beautiful. Yeah, again. she wants to feel wanted, basically, because the husband can care less about her at this point. He's afraid of having a heart attack. That's right. He is. He won't have yeah. sex because he thinks he's gonna have a heart attack. And he kills them because he just hates the youngins. <laughs> he just don't like the youngins. You guys up to no good. Don't you oh. think uh, murdering people takes more effort than sex? Now, when you got a twelve gauge shotgun. Mm. So good point. Double barrel, right? The double barrel shotgun. It was. Yeah, but then, um, then you have to move the body. But God the 90-year-old wife was just slashing, hacking, hacking, slash. Well, she only slashed two people. Once she kicked into a lake like a, by an alligator. She was fast. Got, she was fast. I for know, 90. right? One chick got her face blown off. The Oh, Kid Cuddy, who's in the movie, the rapper Kid Cuddy. Took her gauge to the chest. Took it straight, straight point blank to the chest. Yeah. Right at yep. right after standing there with his Johnson out. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the thing is, the movie starts okay, and you're like, oh, okay. Like, we'll see where this. I mean, you kind of know where it's going. I mean, you already have a vibe. And there's like two sex scenes that are, you know, they're, it's porn. Pleasant. Pleasant. I mean, they're pretty much showing everything, but you know, the interaction between. uh the baseball glove and the sausage and the old uh, the old in doubt in out no in yeah, out yeah yeah they're not showing that but that's pretty much you know that's the very whole colorful setup. commentary I like yeah I like it. yeah yeah so uh carlos give me your thoughts and your review of x a highly rated movie on rotten tomato that's what i was gonna say i don't understand the review it makes no sense to me it's like 98 percent on rotten tomato and I'm still trying to figure out what people saw that I didn't because there's another person who I'm friends with on Instagram and they had mentioned that they're going to watch X. And then I was going to write him and say, let me know what you think. But apparently that post was like 23 hours ago. And four hours later, he wrote how he loved it as one of the <laughs> best films he's seen. It's a slow burn and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, what are these people seeing that I'm not seeing? This was an absolutely horrible film. It was boring. It took forever for something to finally happen. Just the thought of like you had mentioned these 90 year old people actually taking advantage of being able to kill these people, these other people in a slasher style. Not, but I don't know how the old man is even able to stand with the kickback of a double gauge <laughs> uh, shotgun. But yeah, it was just, it, it was, man, it was horrible. 
I mean, your, I'll, your friend sounds like a sheep. What what happens to sheep, Lafayette? <laughs> they eat bullets. <laughs> they eat bullets for <laughs> breakfast and donate their brains to the floor. Twelve hours. You can't talk for twelve hours now. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I gotta admit it. Kid Cudi surprised me. He can act. He's pretty yeah. good. Yeah, he was pretty he good. Film was just dumb. It was. I just like I like I said. I don't see what people were seeing. If you watch it, even after hearing what we have to say about it, please let us know what we're missing. I mean, I get it. It's a it, it's a classic slasher, you know, like you would have seen in the seventies and eighties. But it was just bad, 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 bad. It does have a lot of TNA. So if you like that, like Hugh loves TNA, uh, then you'll probably enjoy it more. But I thought it was ridiculous. That is true. Do you I... not like TNA? No, I do love <laughs> TNA. Why, why are you busting out Hugh? <laughs> no, because, because a movie well, could be shit. Like it could be like the game shit. Yeah. And if, as long as it has TNA. Oh my God. <laughs> it, I mean, TNA would have made the game so much better. Oh my God. <laughs> Extra yeah. point for TNA. Extra, yeah. <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong because when we were texting about this movie and I was like, this movie's garbage. Holy crap. He was like, has some great, has some great up, up, upside great moments. to it. Has some moments. great moments. And I thought, you mean titties and ass? Just yeah. Yeah, pretty much. Ass. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. those parts you're like, yeah, okay. You know, I mean, they're that's what the movie is about. Like, I mean, the part that you know, threw me off when it came to like they're shooting their scenes was when the assistant camera girl was like, you know in on it. The sound person. She was Can we do person. a sex scene too? I want to be in on this. <laughs> like, very, very yummy, Johnny. Um, yummy, yummy, yummy. But being as it's a classic slasher, it did give me that one cringe moment. I don't Which know what one? your cringe moment was. But oh, the yeah, yeah, moment yeah. Is when the dude's walking through the barn and he steps on a nail. And I was like, mm. oh, yeah. But the way I he died that. was so like, his the way like, he died was so lame. But the way he so died was lame. totally yeah. 80s slasher film. He took yeah. a pitchfork to the eyeball. To the eyeball, looking Tr- through, through a fence the wall with, with a holes. hole in it. <laughs> <laughs> but the pitchfork <laughs> has three prongs. I don't know how only two cartoon. went through the holes. Into his eyeballs. That's how it happened. That's <laughs> you don't know. You're not a farmer. Yeah, yeah. you don't know the farmer life. <laughs> All right, Hugh, give me your breakdown of the movie you thought was one of the best you've seen in a long time. No. But again, uh, the artwork was was very pleasant in the first half. The artwork was very pleasant. Yeah, the second half with the, the it was so completely ridiculously implausible. I mean, we Carlos and I laughed about how this the one the the sound guy decides to leave because he's so distraught over his girlfriend. He's actually, the cameraman, the cameraman, yeah, so distraught over his uh, girlfriend participating. And then he's like, you know, she's she steps in front. The 90 year old woman steps in front of his car. So he doesn't go around her. Just go around her. He doesn't do that. He gets out. What's going on? He gets like right next to her. And then in an instant, she stabbed him 20 times in the neck. I'm like, well, you would have done the same thing if you saw an old lady blocking your exit. You would have got out going. You need some help. I just no, I disagree. Nope. I disagree. I had an old lady step in front of my car today in the hood. And I knew what she oh, that's wanted. Different. That's different. That's not a farm. It's not a farm. <laughs> okay. mom? Yeah. Hey, what's just, your mom doing no, in the back dude. of the hood? I'm not, even say, I'm not even saying that uh, she couldn't have gotten a, a stab maybe toward him. But the speed of light she went on was. Well, uh, remember, she like hugged him and he was kind of like weirded out. Like, what's going on? And then she ended up stabbing him. Oh, because just, he didn't want to do her. That's why. Yeah. That's right. That's right. That's another thing. Remember, she kept trying to make out with him. He was like, what? <laughs> what's going on, man? Well, so the, the interesting thing is that as she is the lead Actress. hottie in the movie. Plays the old lady. Also plays the old lady. I know. And yeah. here's the interesting True. story. Of, and yeah, and here's the interesting story about her, because I was curious, like, who's that? And she's uh, uh, pregnant with Shia LaBeouf's kid that she met on the set of, what was it? Nymphomaniac. <laughs> The movie Nipple Maniac. Yeah, yeah, with Shia LaBeouf. Um, so what is your take on the movie? Your final verdict? Uh, just because of the beautiful scenes at the beginning. Um, one and a half. Okay. Uh, Carlos? I give it a two. Okay. I want to go back to the old lady in front of the band. Yeah, yeah. If this guy was that distraught, like if I was in his shoes and I was that distraught and I was so pissed that I'm leaving, he was far enough from this old lady when he turned his van around that he could have just easily went around her. That's what I would have been. I'm like, oh, 
screw this shit. I'm out of here. I don't want anybody. So I just drive around her. He wasn't close enough to hit her. I guess the thing is, why did he even get out? He could have just pulled up beside her, rolled the window down. Hey, yep. Are you, all right? are you all right? And she would have been like, have sex with me. <laughs> and I would have been like, I'm single now, bitch. Get on in. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. Instant three. If this man's a rocking, don't come a knocking. <laughs> that I would not, I've got a camera you. right in here. Yeah. That was that was the second nastiest scene right after the net. The uh, nail step was the. Uh, was when she finally does get busy, busy with the old guy. Oh, yeah. And you see right. his ass from they a... They show it. No, they literally yeah, it's show like, it. Oh, yeah, it's like, oh, please. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good looking um, ass for a 90-year-old. Tell you what. Yeah, <laughs> the the movie is... It's a two. I mean, that's that's a being generous, but it's a good setup until you're like, oh, this... The, when you... The plot of the old people is so dumb. And then the fact that they got high reviews, like in the high 80s, from and all oh, the reviews you read. 96? 96. 96 oh, my God. Yeah. And, you, and these are all from, like, New York Times and, you know, all these r- critics that are known for high praise. So original. I'm like, this is original to you. <laughs> Just because old lady can't get laid decides to murder the young people. Huh. Okay. Okay, dokies. I mean, come on. We know what the standard is for slasher movies. It's Scream. You can't, if you can't match it, then kick rocks jack so is it better like than the how, game um, oh better no than um, the game mm. here we go ooh, ooh. the game better than the game carlos is up he's thinking his face oh, is like man wow wow this question. is a tough one great wow <laughs> well because of tna and it makes it you know okay. makes me, okay. man but uh-huh. uh-huh is it on par oh he's thinking still he's i don't thinking. know the game i could probably watch again if tortured to do so but <laughs> so if you had life in prison x, i couldn't watch people. x again i got you yeah so uh, hugh, better better than the, asking hugh this question is why are you asking me this question again yeah <laughs> if i ask Hugh, it's better is the bible better than the game still wouldn't compete um <laughs> no <laughs> the game is better no because the game had me intrigued this movie lost me once the old people plot kicked in i just okay no this is dumb as hell and the setups were too easy the alligator set up the farm the, yeah. the barn was too, it was too it was all giveaway it was all foretelling what's gonna happen and i was like wow this is bad directing like you're just giving away everything ahead of time like okay i thought it was funny how kid cuddy answered the door and then you see his uh his silhouette and oh, i dick, said dick goes down past I his know. knees no no joke, <laughs> no joke. <laughs> it was like silhouette. it's like this it's like yeah. holy and shit. i'm like no, he's in no the way he's hiding that oh. inside these little white women. He's Mr. There's Fantastic. No way. <laughs> he's, he's Mr. Fantastic. <laughs> Could have been a different oh, slasher yeah. film. The whole thing, yeah. all these yeah. chicks. I want to see that. She's coughing the, up the, blood and the yeah. tip of the director's her mouth. Cat. Yeah. <laughs> I love that he's talking to the old guy. Like, what you think? What you think, Pops? Oh, I know. And then we're, we're both in the in the military. I understand. So I've got a Johnson. You don't. All right, last question before we wrap. Uh, out of all the women on the show, which one was first, second, third in the movie? Mm, was it the blonde, the brunette, blonde. or the mm. assistant, the sound girl? Number one, Carlos. Blonde, then the sound girl, then the brunette. Oh, uh, blonde, sound girl, then brunette. Hugh? Yeah. Other way around. Brunette. Sound girl? Oh. No, no, brunette. Uh-huh. Sound, sound girl, then the blonde. Oh, really? Wow, I would have. I go. I actually go blonde, brunette, sound girl. Yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. The blonde was, yeah, no, she was bees. Well, her fake assets made it more, more appealing. I've seen her in something else before too. That's why I was like, hey, she looks so familiar. She was in a TV show for a minute. And, uh, Brittany Snow, Brittany the blonde. Snow. She's a. Uh, she was. Oh in yeah, the Pitch Perfect. Pitch Perfect. She was in all yeah. the Pitch Perfect movies. There you go. Mm-hmm. There you go. So, all right. Well. There you go. The review of X, uh, average of uh, we'll give an average of a two, I guess. And um, it's would you would shitty. you would you give it Johnny? Oh, Johnny didn't see it, but just by what we I said don't. to him, what would you give it, Johnny? Just by what we we told you. You know what? It's worse than the game. Hey, just, just, yeah. just the, the one, one and a half. <laughs> okay, okay. There you go. So we don't recommend X if you don't like horror, especially don't watch X. Uh, it's, a, it's a piece of shit. God damn it. All right. Well. That's all we got for you. Um, anything else before we wrap up? No, everybody's like, no, no. we're good. Okay. So for Johnny, see you. For Carlos, bye bye. For you, live long and prosper. 
I'm Carlos. Oh, wait, I'm Carlos, son of a bitch. <laughs> My mom called me that too many times. I'm Carlos, and he's Lafayette. Thanks for tuning in to Nerds Talking, the podcast.